Do you like worms? Because we do. In fact, we love them. This is a red worm. We're Team Monocopra, and we're going to teach you how to make these awesome worm bins. A worm bin is a little house full of worms. You put in your kitchen scraps, like this orange peel, and you get out worm castings. Worm castings is another name for worm poop. So our worm bin design consists of two cartons that are taped together. And the inside of the cartons is a migration hole so the worms can pass from one carton to the other carton. These lids right here can be flipped open so food and scraps can be inserted. First step is to obtain two juice or milk half gallon cartons. Make sure they're washed out and dry. Poke four holes in the shape of a rectangle on similar places on each of the two cartons. So that way, when you put them together, the holes will match up. Use a pencil to poke the holes. They're now in similar places in both cartons. Remember that the migration holes go in the middle of your worm bin. So make sure that the entire time you're building, these four holes are in the middle. The next step that we're going to run through is cutting the holes for the flaps. So you want to poke four holes, one in each corner. Okay, now it's cutting time. Let's start with the migration holes. The point of putting in holes in the first place was so it would be easier to cut. Make sure to cut away from yourself. <coughs> okay. Now cut the flaps. You only need to cut three of the four sides so you'll be able to open and shut your bin. Do this with both containers. Now your bin has migration holes for the worms in the middle and flaps on the top to take out castings and to put in food. If your holes are too small and too high for the worms to get over, it is now easier to make them bigger. Just cut holes into the corners of your bin and connect and cut. This will make them bigger and easier for the worms to get from one side to the other. Roughly the size of a credit card is a good size for your holes. Make sure to do this to both bins so that when you put them together, the holes will match. Now we're going to tape up our bin. The first step in cartons like these is to tape shut the openings so that way no liquid can get out. Tape both of them. Duct tape is what we use. Okay. Next step is to tape the two bins together. Make sure the migration holes are still in the middle and that your aeration holes are still on the bottom. Take duct tape The next step is to shred the newspaper to use as bedding for your bin. Tear it into small strips. Any newspaper works, but make sure not to use regular paper as it has chemicals in it that are harmful to the worms. Once you have proper amount of newspaper, sprinkle it with water and put it straight into your bin. Congratulations! Your bin is now made. Now we have to fill it with the things that make worms happy. 
You already have your damp newspaper. Put it on both sides of the bin through your flaps. Feel free to experiment with small amounts of other organic material. We have partially decomposed lawn and some fresh grass. They also like leaves and little scraps of stuff from your kitchen. Just make sure it's all organic material. These are the red wiggler worms that we're going to use for our bin. You should wait about a week to let things start to decompose in your bin before putting in your worms. After you've obtained red worms and waited about a week, feel free to put them straight in. And don't eat the worms. Cats and boots and 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 cats and boots and